and action. On a sunny afternoon in July, I came across the main character of this movie on our driveway. It was immediately clear to me that I'd never seen this species before. The shape, the size, the indents and riches on its carapace. Which beetle is this? A new nature mystery to solve. First, let's take a look in the field guides. Nothing. 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 It's not in any of my field guides. What species is it? It does not belong to the dung beetle family because those are more round in shape and our star of the movie is much bigger, some 3 centimeters. Although there's a resemblance in build, I don't recognize it as a flower shaver either. One of the stack beetles? Clearly not. Taking a break to have lunch, I'm leafing through a beautiful book on insects and suddenly, there it is. My mystery beetle, a pic prune. It is called pic prune in France because the smell of an adult is likened to that of prunes. The Latin name is Osmoderma eremita, which combines the words for smell, skin and hermit. In Holland it is called juchtleerkever, which also has to do with its smell. Juchtleer is Russian style treated leather and this beetle supposedly smells like that as well. In Italy, researchers have even trained so-called conservation detection dogs to recognize this smell as a non-invasive way to monitor whether or not hollow trees in which the beetles live are housing the larvae of this protected species. Most of the individuals of this beetle species, some 85%, stay in the same hollow tree throughout their whole lives, which is where its English name, hermit beetle, comes from. And if they do decide to become adventurous, Radio tracking research in France has shown one female going as far as 324 meters from the tree she came from, but they rarely venture out further than 100 meters. So they need to have access to enough shootable old trees for them to settle in within this very small range if they leave the tree or if the old tree dies. Habitat destruction has resulted in less and less of such old growth forests being present in Europe. And because this species is completely dependent on old hollow trees, in France the construction of a new highway was stopped for several years and plans were changed to avoid the clear-cut of an old forest in the region of La Sarthe, where a strong population of the hermit beetle was found to reside. So with the protection of the hermit beetle, many other species, and indeed their whole habitat, are also protected. The hermit beetle is classified as near threatened on the IUCN red list and is also listed on Appendix 2 of the International Burn Convention for the Conservation of Wildlife and Natural Environment of Europe. This is probably why I did not find this beetle in my field guides. Sadly it is too uncommon. That and of course its reclusive lifestyle. The biggest chance for you to come across an adult is from July to September. I spotted it again a couple of days later, yet this time it was dead. They spent three to four years as larvae, but as an adult they only live about a month. However, knowing their limited dispersal rate, chances are pretty big that our own forest is home to many more individuals of this species, now that we've found this one. There are enough very old hollow trees. But, to be sure, I wouldn't mind having one of those Italian sniffing dogs pay us a visit, someday. And... Cut!